JBN, we keep you informed. Father has not stopped crying. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. Leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Since last Friday, January 11th, when his second son, 13-year-old Rajon Taylor, was mowed down by a bus in Friendship Pen, St. Thomas, the grief-stricken father has not stopped crying. Taylor said that he even went to his son's room yesterday morning, hoping that the St. Thomas Technical High School student would be there. When we go out to the uniform, everything moving on my body, me get nervous, me take up in uniform and start rub it, me start tremble, me say, Jesus, look how we John for school and this happened. Taylor continued, adding that he misses his morning routine. Every Monday morning, me I normally wake him up and tell him to go have a shower to go to school while me get his breakfast ready. We run a cook shop, so I put on a little fast pot for him and my little granddaughter because the two of them go to the same school. If me not do breakfast, me normally do cup noodles and them then gone together, Taylor explained. His wife, Claudia Robinson Taylor, said that Rajon had accompanied one of his friends to a nearby shop and was standing along the thoroughfare when he was hit by a SpongeBob bus heading towards Morant Bay from Kingston at approximately 8 p.m. He was taken to the Princess Margaret Hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. Explaining that he had not slept or eaten since Friday evening, the father said he last saw the teenager about 4 p.m. that day and recalled their last conversation while they were picking Akis. Me that tell him about my life. I was just telling him that him just can't go away and I don't know where he is. Sometimes him go kick some ball with his friends. It's not like I don't want him to have friends. I was just telling him that not all friends are good because a lot of friends lead you to stray and lead you into problem. I was explaining to him that friends lead me to stray when I was his age, the father continued. He said he was not feeling well and I told him to take a pill. Him said he need food to take the pill. Same time he came up on the road where I have the cook shop and him get the food. His friend came by and he left with his friend, Taylor said. The father also said he had not gone inside the house prior to yesterday morning. Instead, he spent the three nights since Friday at the shop. Me go down there and go hold a fresh this morning. Cause each time me I go at the gate, cause I in normally call. It's just tears, Taylor said. Yesterday, residents staged a demonstration protesting the teenager's death. The protesters, including children, called for motorists to cut their speed when traveling through the community. Commanding officer for the St. Thomas Division of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Superintendent Marlene Wilson Christie said that the driver is in custody. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.